Cracking is in reinforced concrete structures is a difficult thing to uh, estimate, um, but there are some general principles that we can apply. The first is that the crack spacing, which we'll call uh, S sub C, is related to our crack width, W sub C. So the further our spacing, the larger our crack width. And the closer uh, space our cracks are, the more narrow our cracks um, will be. If we know the strain and stress in our reinforcing steel, so if we know the stress and strain of our reinforcing steel, then we can relate our crack width to our crack spacing by the strain in our uh, steel. So that's a, a, a general relationship that's true in uh, reinforced concrete structures. There is uh, also a correlation between the crack spacing and the distance from the outermost steel to the furthest point away from the steel on the exterior face. So if we, took, if we look at a cross section um, from above, which is what we're looking at here, um, our crack spacing is going to be related to um, the distance between our outermost steel and uh, the furthest point away on our uh, tension face, which our bottom face here is our tension face. Um, so we'll have a distance D prime here. Um, that'll be the furthest distance um, to that point. Or on an interior um, set of bars, this would be our, our distance D prime. And then we can relate our crack spacing uh, with a, a phi or a, a psi factor to our uh, D prime. And this is a, a general relationship that will be true in our reinforced concrete structures. So we can use these expressions from uh, before to see what we can do um, to minimize crack widths or, or see what will lead to uh, larger crack widths so that we can design um, to minimize our crack widths. The first thing that will lead to larger crack widths is a larger um, strain in our steel, epsilon s. So you can see that if we have a larger epsilon s, we'll have a larger um, crack width. Uh, generally, this is not something we can um, control with our, or, or we typically modify with our design because we're typically always using um, grade 60 reinforcement. So this is not uh, something that we can modify in our design to, to minimize our crack widths. The second thing that's going to lead to larger crack widths is if we have a large cover. Um, so the cover is the distance from our exterior bar to the outside of our uh, concrete. Um, so if we have a larger cover, we're going to have a larger D prime. And you can see a larger D prime is going to also lead to larger crack widths. So as a designer, this is something that we can um, modify to a certain extent. Um, we can decrease our, our cover values to uh, be close um, to our, our design limits, um, and, and that will help us uh, have narrower cracks. Uh, the last major thing that will lead to larger cracks is if we have uh, only a few um, bars that are resisting um, our, our, our cracking. Um, so if we have fewer bars, that's going to affect our spacing. And if we have a larger spacing, we'll have a larger D prime, which will once again lead to larger cracking. Um, so we'll see that we'll have uh, spacing limits um, between our uh, longitudinal bars or bars resisting cracking. Um, and that will uh, help us to minimize our crack widths. So those are the uh, three main factors that will uh, lead to larger crack widths and uh, a brief discussion on, on how we can um, design uh, against them to, to minimize our crack widths.